this is rubble. Hey y'all, this is Robert with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. This is the second video in the series on how I take all of the extra mallard decoys that I have around. This is the ringneck duck decoy painting video, the second video in the series. The first video I showed the canvas backs and the bluebills. Time didn't allow for me to put all three of these, the canvas back, the bluebill, and the ringneck into one video. As you'll notice, there's a lot of similarities in the three duck decoys that we'll be painting. Um, mostly black and white. Um, the only color that you'll have to add to your list of colors will be a light brown color. Um, I've always got camo paint laying around. Uh, I use the, the khaki color in my camo paint to make the light brown color. Some people use sand, some people use just a tan color. Um, whatever you're gonna use, you need a light brown sandy khaki color is what you're gonna need. That's the only new color that you'll have to add to the list of colors. Just like before, we're gonna start with a mallard duck decoy. We're painting white through the middle. We paint the middle three quarters of the duck starting in the very center, working our way out to the head and the breast end, and then on the other end we work out to the tail. Um, we want a big white stripe through the middle. After we've got a big white stripe through the middle, we change it up just a little bit. Um, you'll see the template that I cut. I took my reference and I made a template out of a piece of uh, uh, paper plate, one of the 99 cent Dollar General plates. Um, you paint the head, the center of the back, and the tail black. You'll see that on the center of the wing section, on the side of the duck, you'll see where it, where I blocked off the black and made everything black but this little center of the wing section. Then I take an, uh, an oblong square shape, uh, take a, a rectangle or a square and you and you stretch it on one corner you'll see the template this is where I take the khaki coat just one on each side at the, at the back end of the wing of this duck very simple you got white black and khaki so far and there's two little squares one on each side at the back of the wing that is khaki it's a little square that's oblong shape, you'll see. Uh, the clip will show you. Next, I paint the bill gray, just like I did with the blue bill. I take my template, paint the bill gray. I will cut a big square spot um, to paint the black section, the nail section of the front of this bill. If you notice, there, it's not just the nail that gets black. It's a big black section on the front of these, of these ducks that is uh, painted black, either that plate or a different plate. Uh, I cut a little slit and I transition from the gray to the black with a white line or a white stripe that is between the gray and the black on the front of this bill. Um, you got to kind of fold it to make it work, but it's about a quarter inch wide and it covers the whole top of the bill. You got you got the gray and then the white and then the black. Um, and it's a, it's kind of a transition, but it has to be noticeable. Um, that's a, to me that's very important, is to make sure that this white stands out and pops. Then I take my little eye template with the hole. Uh, I spray paint the yellow eyes, come back and dot them black. Um, with this duck, there's nothing really on the head. They have a black head. Um, so I dust the whole duck in clear. This is basically just to keep him from scratching up in the decoy bag. Uh, these ducks are fairly simple, just like the rest of them.
next clip you'll see where I've taken a couple of mine and put them next to a, a GHG decoy. Mine look pretty good, theirs look pretty good. If you get six of them together, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. All criticism is welcome. Please remember that there are ladies and children watching, so keep it clean. Please remember to shake the hand of a veteran, a police officer, or an emergency worker if you get the chance. Thanks again. I'll see you on the water.